the verbatim media share wireless is it worth it if you're a professional photographer or an amateur photographer you enjoy taking photos out in the field traveling or on jobs events etc but you like to back up as you go along or you don't have access to a computer or you can't plug in your laptop if you just wanted to try something out nice and cheap this could be it because quite frankly with one of these one of these and your memory card you can be good to go as you can see straight away it's not just for backing up in fact some of you looking at this might be looking at purely for the fact that you can stick in your memory cards usb hard drives and stream from this unit to a number of devices you can connect up to five devices simultaneously you can password protect the device and you can use usb and sd memory slots to access your information or store your information take a look at the device itself dead small dead light fits in the palm of the hand so if you really needed to you can slip it in your pocket or just in a small pocket in your bag on the front there you've got four leds for your battery indicator your read and write indicator wi-fi and network on the front most importantly your sd slot reset button and your usb port so any flash drive most hard drives straight in there on the side you've got your usb charging port and you've got your on off button now the unit actually has a battery in it which claims up to nine hours of continuous use so that's important when you're out on a field because you're probably going to need to power your usb hard drive as well as the system itself basically you set this up with your mobile phone throw your card in there you drive in there and you're away let's give that a bash switch it on at the side plug in the usb get your memory card that you've just took out your camera in this case out my fuji x30 pop that in to get the app go into the wi-fi settings there's your verbatim i've already configured it with the password so that'll connect you've got the home at the top which shows you the drives there's my sd card and there's the usb gives you a little notification you can just switch the view modes if you prefer You've got settings, host name, user, etc. So have a look at that if that's of interest to you. I just set up the Wi-Fi, tested it, and I was away, and I've used this on a couple of shoots so far. So manage is the one that I'm most interested in. So I'll go into the memory card itself, choose the folder. Normally, if it's a shoot that I'm doing, I'll just select all at the bottom. But in this case, just for the sake of the test, I'm going to select the last bunch of files you'll see it doesn't really load up the thumbs particularly quick it depends what you've got on the card the size of the files that sort of stuff but they do start to show eventually in fact if we go to the first page as there's quite a lot on this card at some point these files will start to pop up and i'll just show you that in just a moment but once you've selected the files you want whether select all or just the numbered files you'll have to wait a while if you really just want to see the actual thumbs themselves you press copy select the folder i've created a folder called backup there usb volume backup now let's see how long this takes now you can see the file starting to appear Took its time on that couple of Fuji files there. You can see there's a number of pages worth here, obviously from previous backups. But you can see it's not too bad considering USB 2.0, and in this case, it's using its own Wi Fi network so you can access this drive via the verbatim. It doesn't store them in the memory for too long. So as you can see, I've gone back and it's having to reload them all in again. Very handy. That's a verbatim media share. 
I enjoyed using this on a few shoots recently. For example, a three day shoot in London where I couldn't really take even more gear and I wanted to travel as light as possible. There were three image intense days and this held up well. I just got back to the hotel, turned it on, passed the cards through it, backed everything up straight away and I was away. Now with that event I had extra memory cards etc so I didn't need to delete anything but I'd be confident with this and with the hard drive that I used that I could get away with just backing straight to this and formatting the cards again. But cards are so cheap you might not even need to go this route but just for one extra backup why not. I'll leave a link below let us know if you've any thoughts. Of course there are even simpler methods out there and I would like to check out that Western Digital I think wireless passport to see how that works because I know it's got the slot straight into the drive so no messing about the relative no-brainer especially for the price.